What is addiction? Over 48 million people nationwide struggle with addiction, also called a substance use disorder. Scientists first began to understand addiction as a health condition back in the 1950s. Doctors Olds and Milner, in laboratory studies of rats, found the parts of the brain affected by addiction. But then in 1994, doctors Volkoff and Schubert, top neuroscientists, ran PET scans of the brain that showed the effects of substance use disorders. And like other diseases, these scans showed it affected tissue function. There are two main parts of the brain affected by drug use, the limbic system and the cortex. The limbic system, located deep within the brain, is responsible for our basic survival instincts. So when you do essential things to stay alive, like eat, drink, find shelter, have sex, or care for your young, your brain reinforces these behaviors that cause the release of dopamine from this region. That reward for surviving is also transmitted to the amygdala and hippocampus, which record a memory of that event. This is our survival hardwiring. Addiction also affects the prefrontal cortex, which is what separates us from other animals. This is where decision-making and impulse control live. When drugs or alcohol are used, they activate the very same dopamine process in the survival center. And when use is repeated, that substance can hijack that part of the brain. This hijacker changes the brain and weakens the system to make it believe that the primary need for survival is the drug. In hijacking the brain, it can usurp those primary motivations. Food, water, shelter, sex, and protecting our young. And the hijacker needs more and more of the substance to activate the same level of reward. That feeling of pleasure, causing the brain tissue to become increasingly damaged with continued drug use. In addition to the biological components, addiction has psychological and social components as well. Psychological components include poor coping skills and experiencing mental health disorders or trauma. Social components can include a lack of social supports and negative peer influences. So, why don't all people who use alcohol or drugs become addicted? There are many factors that contribute to the development of a substance use disorder. They include individual factors, like your genes, the age you started using alcohol or other substances, and then environmental factors, like drug availability. But there is good news. Addiction is preventable. Key factors that aid in preventing addiction can be categorized into two parts, risk and protective factors. Protective factors range from parental involvement, programs that improve self-control, limiting availability of alcohol and other substances, and increasing attachment to your community. Another key element in preventing addiction is to delay when use begins. Put simply, prevention is about delaying the onset of first use. In the adolescent brain, where brain tissue is more vulnerable, the hijacker is more prone to weaken the brain and plant itself as a disease. Those with substance use disorders commonly initiate first use of alcohol, nicotine, or marijuana early between 12 and 18 years old, which increases the likelihood of developing an addiction. But addiction is treatable. Advancements have been made in assessments, treatment programs, recovery supports, and medications to treat addiction. Brain scans show that once in recovery, the tissue in the limbic system and cortex can get better. Be smart. Protect your brain.